Hey, it's Denny here with your 90 second technology tip. It's Google Thursday, so I'm going to do a little training on Google and I'm going to do a training on Gmail. Now, I think there's nothing more beautiful than seeing an empty inbox. Now, many of us haven't seen an empty inbox since we started using email, but with this tip I'm going to show you in Gmail, you actually will be able to have an empty inbox. And what you're going to do is start filtering and labeling all your incoming messages in Gmail. It's really, really easy to do. You just check the email and then you go up over here and then you click on the more button here. And then when it comes down, you're going to click create, the, create a filter. When you go there, you can create a filter and then and it will take the email that you checked and it will create a filter for that email. Now, if you don't, if you're not using labels, you can actually create labels as you do this. You just click new label. Then you click when the so whenever the email comes in now, it's going to have that label put on it. Then when you're looking at your email, all you have to do is check the email and click archive. It'll remove the email from your inbox. It won't delete it. It'll archive it and it'll put it in that folder for you. The other thing you can do is once you start creating these labels, all you do is go and click on the label in your Gmail interface and then you can change the colors. So that way when you're looking at your inbox, you can see just by color which emails are important, which emails aren't. The other thing you can do is when you set these up, if it's an email that you really don't need to see, you don't need it jamming up your inbox, but you do want to keep it, you can just have it skip the inbox. So the email will come in, won't even show up in your inbox, it'll just go straight to the folder. So this is definitely worth taking another look through. Look at the, all these different screenshots that I went through as I was talking about this and learn to use these labels because it doesn't take much longer to set up a filter than it does to delete an email. But once you set the filter up, then it's there from then on and you can actually start working towards having you know, an empty inbox. And one of the things I did was I created uh, one label that's just follow up. So if emails come in that I know I need to follow up on, but I don't want them sitting in my inbox, I just move them to the follow-up label, and then when I have time to start getting caught up on email, I click on the follow-up label and all my follow-up emails come up. So there's a lot of ways that you'll be able to use this to start saving yourself some time, get organized, and also hopefully keep your inbox empty or at least closer to empty than it is now. All right, I hope you're having a great week, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another tip.